Have you ever wondered why it's so difficult to travel to Mars? The red planet, our celestial neighbor, has always captivated our curiosity and imagination. Yet, reaching it is no easy task. It involves several stages, each presenting its own unique set of challenges. From designing a precise spacecraft, managing weight and addressing fuel requirements to navigating the dynamic Martian atmosphere and ensuring safe arrival and departure. Not to mention the consideration of methods like aero capture to reduce fuel needs and weight, while also dealing with intense heat during entry. Let's delve into the reasons why reaching the red planet is not as simple as it might seem. The first hurdle in the journey to Mars is the launch itself. It's a critical first step, a giant leap that propels us out of the Earth's gravitational pull and into the vast expanse of space. Imagine the sheer energy required to escape the grip of our own planet. It's like trying to break free from a giant magnet pulling you back with every inch you move forward. To accomplish this feat, we need a rocket. But not just any rocket, it needs to be powerful and reliable. Imagine a skyscraper, hurtling through the sky at incredible speeds, carrying precious cargo destined for the red planet. It's not just about brute force, it's about precision. The rocket has to be meticulously designed and engineered to withstand the incredible forces of launch, the harsh conditions of space, and the long journey to Mars. Now let's talk about the elephant in the room, the risk of launch failure. It's a grim reality we must face. The history of space exploration is littered with stories of rockets that didn't make it. Each failure, a stark reminder of the immense challenge we are undertaking. The cost of these failures is not just monetary, it's measured in time, effort, and sometimes in lives. But it's not just about the risk of failure. The cost of launching a mission to Mars is astronomical, pun intended. It's not just the price tag on the rocket, it's the cost of the years of research, the countless hours spent by engineers and scientists, the state-of-the-art technology, and the rigorous testing and retesting to ensure everything is as perfect as it can be. So, even before we leave our planet, we are already facing significant challenges. The launch is just the first step, the first hurdle in our journey to Mars. But, as daunting as it may seem, it's a challenge we are willing to face, a hurdle we are determined to overcome. Because the reward, the chance to set foot on another planet, to push the boundaries of human exploration, is worth every challenge we face. Once we have successfully launched, the next challenge is the journey to Mars. The red planet isn't exactly a stone's throw away. In fact, it's an average of about 33.9 million miles away. That's a distance so vast, it's hard to truly fathom. And traversing this great expanse of space isn't a quick jaunt either. Depending on the alignment of Earth and Mars in their orbits, the trip can take anywhere from six to nine months. That's about the same time it takes for a human baby to develop in the womb. But it's not just the distance and the time that pose challenges. Precise navigation is absolutely vital. Space, after all, is a vast and empty place. Aim just a fraction of a degree off course, and you could miss Mars entirely, ending up lost in the cold, dark void. It's like trying to hit a bullseye from millions of miles away. And then, there's the ever-present danger of radiation. In the protective envelope of Earth's magnetic field and atmosphere, we are largely shielded from the harmful cosmic rays that zip through space. But out there, en route to Mars, astronauts are exposed to levels of radiation that can cause serious health problems, from acute sickness to long-term damage like cancer. Even the spacecraft itself isn't immune to the harsh conditions of space. Tiny micrometeoroids, no bigger than a grain of sand, whiz around at mind-boggling speeds. If they hit, they can cause significant damage. Yet despite these formidable challenges, we humans, with our insatiable curiosity and unquenchable spirit of exploration, are determined to make this journey. To go where no one has gone before, to set foot on a new world, to push the boundaries of our knowledge and our capabilities. The journey to Mars is long and fraught with dangers, but we are not there yet. If we manage to navigate the dangers of space and reach Mars, we then face the daunting task of landing safely. The landing phase. It's perhaps one of the most challenging aspects of the entire mission. Yes, even harder than the journey itself. The first hurdle is Mars' thin atmosphere. It's about 100 times less dense than Earth's. This means we can't rely on air friction to slow down the spacecraft as much as we'd like. This brings us to the second challenge, the high-speed entry. 
The spacecraft will be barreling towards Mars at an incredible speed, around 55,000 miles per hour or thereabouts. That's about 15 miles per second. And well, as you can imagine, when you're moving that fast, things tend to heat up quite literally. The friction with the Martian atmosphere will cause the spacecraft to glow hotter than molten lava. This intense heat is another major challenge. The spacecraft needs to be equipped with a heat shield capable of withstanding these extreme temperatures and let's not forget about the precise navigation required to land the spacecraft safely. The landing site must be carefully chosen and the spacecraft must be guided with pinpoint accuracy to avoid any potential hazards. Too much to the left or right or a few seconds too early or late and the mission could end in disaster. To aid in this process, advanced entry, descent and landing EDL systems are being developed. These systems will use a combination of parachutes, rockets, and other technologies to slow down the spacecraft and guide it to a safe landing. Despite these challenges, engineers are working tirelessly to ensure the success of future manned missions to Mars. They're exploring innovative methods like aerocapture, which involves using the planet's atmosphere to slow down the spacecraft, reducing fuel needs and weight. Landing on Mars is a feat of engineering and navigation that pushes our technology to the limit. It's a testament to our ambition, ingenuity, and the relentless human spirit that endeavors to explore the unknown. And finally, even if we manage to land safely on Mars, the mission is not over. We still have to return. Navigating back to Earth from Mars is no small task. Remember, we're not just hopping in a car and driving home. We're talking about a journey that spans millions of miles through the cold, unforgiving void of space. The spacecraft that brought us to Mars must be capable of launching from the Martian surface, a task that presents its own set of unique challenges. Mars, unlike our moon, has a dynamic and unpredictable atmosphere. This means that any craft launching from its surface must be engineered to withstand a variety of conditions, from dust storms to intense heat. Additionally, the thin atmosphere on Mars doesn't provide the same kind of liftoff assistance that we have here on Earth. Every pound of the spacecraft, every ounce of fuel, must be meticulously accounted for to ensure a successful launch. But launching from Mars is only the first step. The spacecraft must then navigate the long journey back to Earth. This requires careful planning and precise execution, as even the smallest miscalculation could send the spacecraft off course, potentially stranding it in the vast expanse of space. Moreover, the journey back to Earth is a long one, the astronauts aboard the spacecraft will need sustainable life support systems to survive. These systems must provide everything the astronauts need to live. Breathable air, drinkable water, and edible food, all for an extended period of time. And of course, these systems must be designed to operate reliably in the harsh conditions of space. Imagine the challenge of designing a spacecraft that can withstand the rigors of launch, the harsh conditions of space, and the long journey back to Earth. It's a monumental task, requiring the brightest minds and the most advanced technologies. The return journey is as challenging, if not more so, than the journey to Mars. The return trip is not just a victory lap. It's a test of endurance, a testament to human tenacity, and our unyielding pursuit of knowledge and discovery. So why is it so hard to travel to Mars? Well, it's a convoluted dance of precision technology and sheer human ingenuity. Each stage of this cosmic journey presents its own unique set of challenges that are far from trivial. The launch, the very first step in this journey, is a Herculean task in itself. The spacecraft's design and operation need to be immaculate, and the weight management is a puzzle that would baffle even the most seasoned of engineers. Every ounce matters, as it directly impacts the fuel requirements. The journey to Mars is a marathon, it's not just about getting off the ground, it's about staying the course, navigating the unpredictable vastness of space, and ensuring the spacecraft remains in prime condition throughout the voyage. And then there's the landing. Mars' dynamic atmosphere is a wild card that requires advanced entry, descent, and landing systems. The potential use of aero capture, leveraging the Martian atmosphere to slow down the spacecraft, introduces another layer of complexity. The intense heat generated during entry demands robust thermal protection. Even the return to Earth is no simple affair. It requires careful planning and execution to ensure the spacecraft can safely depart Mars and journey back home. Despite these challenges, our fascination with the Red Planet continues to drive us to overcome these obstacles and one day, hopefully, set foot on Mars.